Hello my beautiful people, this is Sherry Moulton back with another video. Happy bling bling day. Happy day, the real day two of autumn week. I apologize if I confuse people. I started off with saying it was last one was a part two of autumn week, but it ended up with the way things fell with what I had ready. It ended up being part one. And I did say that at the end of the video. So, but anyways, I apologize, we're back. I apologize also for being a day late and also just a heads up next my next video is going to be also a little bit late it's probably going to be Thursday that it's going to go up um it's my 400th video so it's a little bit of a special video so with that we're going to get into this um we're going to do an amazing um autumn inspiration Fired bling bling using these um, Montmartre glittery paint, metallic paints. Um, we are going to be using some of Laura's glitters. And of course, we're going to use some glass. So, with that further ado, I'm going to get into my working clothes and we're going to get right into it because I think this one's going to be pretty. I'll see you in a second, guys. Hello, guys. I am back. I've got my working clothes on, and we're going to get into this. So today, we are going to do Back to Basics Bling Bling. This is going to be a two-piece canvas. I didn't have any canvases that I like the size of because I didn't want to do a huge one. So this is two 10 by 20-inch canvases from Michaels. These are their, you know, their value pack things. I have them taped and push pinned and with this it doesn't it's it's uneven here but it doesn't really matter because we're just gonna paint put some glitter on and all that fun stuff so um I've probably a long time ago I was in at um can't think of the name of the store at the moment but anyways we went in and I purchased this they had these in at oh home sense and they had them all reduced. So this was their um, Montmore. Montmart. These are, I'm pretty sure it's an Australian brand. They had their metallics on and this was on for $5. So I picked it up and this is right on in with our fall colors. And then I bought this other little one are all metallics as well, but um, it's all the same colors. So I'm just gonna use the big ones, but I wanted to, this is kind of nice. It's got the um, beautiful pinks and blues and all that fun stuff. So we're just gonna do a split canvas. One end we're gonna do solid color. I was thinking that this would be nice. Then I was looking at this, but I thought this might be too dark. So I am gonna use this is my artist loft and it's parchment. Um, that's going to be the top and this I'm going to variegate and we will do the bottom. So as per usual, let me just grab my brush and I'm going to get some paper towels because we're going to probably need to brush some of that off. And I am using my Royal Lang Nickel and yeah, Royal and Lang Nickel. This is the Jumbo R795. I buy this at Michael's. It's an amazing brush if you want to do like a big area. Use your coupon, guys. Don't ever buy anything full price if you can. Because Michael's is nice, but it's expensive. All right, let's get a little more organized. My apologies, my friends. All right, so I'm going to put this paint back. I don't need it. Here we go. Let's get into this. Let's start. We're just going to layer these on the bottom and we're going to blend them. Let's see. Do I need to open? Oh, no, they're already open. Awesome. And I'm wondering, we're going to start maybe do that, I think. Let me, dot, well, let me put a little dot where I want to start. So we'll go here, carry on to here, and then carry here all the way up to here. 
So we're going to do like an, an angled blended bling bling. All right. So let's do gold, this, that. Yeah, we're just going to. Maybe I'll draw the line just so when I'm laying the paint, I kind of have an idea. There. So I have an idea of where to go to. You can do that in pencil. It's whatever you want to do it in. I just chose to, to do it in pen. All right, here we go, guys. That's a pretty color. And that's a lot of paint, so. And maybe I'll just do on either side this one. There. Okay, so let's do, we're going to mimic the same on this side. Actually, let me do a little more here. Probably don't need to, but let me just do a little more there. And then we'll start with the gold. We want to carry it on. So the gold. And this one I'll probably need a little more. Look at that. Put it all over the inside. And then we will do this one here. And here. Come on, just want a little bit. Cooperate with me. And then we'll do copper, three of the copper. <laughs> the lid's already off and I'm trying to open it. I'm special. Have I told you that before, that I'm special? I'm trying to think, we'll do just a tad here. And then here. goodness sherry here let me grab something to wipe my hand off too funny so we're going to do the blending part on the bottom first and then i'm going to come back in and we'll just do a basic paint i'm just going to clean up my mess here sorry i am a messy crafter all right here we go and my brush I'm going to dampen my brush just a little bit and I'm going to take most of it off. I'm just dabbing it on my puppy pad and here we go. edges and I'm just gonna just tap it as I'm going get the basics down and I'm going to come back and try to blend that's a lot of paint on here I'm just going to move it so I can get the there we go get the edge want to make sure the lines are all going the same way because there's a lot of paint on here. Perfect. Oh, that is actually really pretty. Okay, here, let's go. I want to make sure we're going to and it doesn't much matter the middle because we're gonna we're gonna fill it up with some I don't know maybe glitter maybe glass 
a little bit of something something eh? I love fall I'm not into the pumpkin stuff though I don't know what do you think guys you're a pumpkin are you a pumpkin person these are gorgeous paints I've never really used them I bought them with intentions and that's a lot of oh, I probably put way too much paint I'm gonna get this blended and on there and then I'm gonna try to come in and maybe remove some of the little excess God, I wore this silly outfit because it has the, the long sleeves that catch in everything. There we go. Best to get the edges now. I forgot I put that line there. All right, let's go. Now we will just do Oops, a bold spot there. There. Blend away. Sure the end is done. Now I'm going to start wiping off some of this paint and then try to come back really quickly. That is so gorgeous. Just wiping out the brush. All right. I just don't want the lines of the paint. That's my because there's so much there. <laughs> Especially if you're doing, this is, well, like a dry brushing, you wouldn't want a whole lot of paint either. So depending on what your, what your method of doing is. And it's nice because it blends it even a little bit more. One more time down here. Light handedly brush parallel to the and try not to go wiggly wiggly. If you have a little bit of lines there that you want to get rid of. Awesome. That is such a pretty color. And now I'm gonna move them apart. There we go. <laughs> Do the same down here. I just don't want the, the line. Perfect. That ends good. I'm not touching it. But I will. I will do this because I'm noticing it's coming off the end. I'm noticing the edge here was being lifted off. Perfect. I'm just going to do a little bit more here on this side. And then we're going to come in with our parchment on the other side. So I'm going to put that brush in some water. Get that out of here. <clears throat> Flip this around. <sighs> Look at that, guys. That is stunning. <sighs> and you kid in May. Look at that. Seriously. It's a little kind of like a fruit fly. Honest, guys, there's no dead bodies in my basement, but I have flies like you wouldn't believe. <laughs> Let me just see if I can. Hilarious. Do you see the little fart? Do you see? There's like a wiggly, 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 wiggly where, where I left them. 
after I went painstakingly, we'll do one swip down this way. That is so funny. And now I'm crooked. Oh. There. All right. <laughs> oh, welcome to my channel where everything goes wrong. Do da. Do da. All right. I'm going to grab a different brush and we're just going to put some of this parchment on. I got a full one here and we'll get right into that. Oops. I moved you out of my, I had to put little um, markers on my table so I knew you were in in line. I think this will be nice because it's not too white. And I'm going to grab another brush. I'm just going to use this, this one here. It's not quite as wide, but it'll do the job. It'll do the job. And away we go. We're just going to slather that on without flicking it onto the bottom. Oh yeah, that's pretty. You want to come as close as you can. And this way. Go one way and then go the other way. Especially if you've got a lot of paint on there. And that will make sure it gets into all those little crevices. And you want to get your edging. I'm going to get my base down first. And then I'm going to come in and try and get as close as I can. Just in case I get any color on top of my, my clean paintbrush that I just did. I'm just going to steal from this one for a minute. Just get as close as I can. And I've learned before that sometimes it doesn't pay to leave a little line because you can see sometimes. So get as close as you can within reason. Like, see, that's not a bad line, but I wouldn't leave something like this. I'm just going to steal from here again. I know I said I was going to come back, but I think we're good. There we go. Perfect. Now I'm going to get the edges. Make sure. That, and I'm just tilting up guys just so I can get this edge so I can see it this color is just a little and then this side try and take some off of here to do here and just go to the edge There, perfect. Now I'm just, whoops. Try to just smooth this out, same as I did the other one. It's nicer to work with the bigger brush, but I don't even have one of my, the wider synthetic ones. Or a, We didn't need a whole lot of <laughs> a whole lot of paint. Oh my goodness, Sherry. Where there's a will, there's a way. I will make a mess. I just put my hand in the paint that was on my table. And I do see this, yes. I am just gonna leave it because I don't want to mess up what I have on the bottom. And that's the thing with putting some 
glitter and bling bling on that, we can touch that up if you make a mistake. You can more than happy to go on in there and fix that up if you want, but I find sometimes some things are best left just left alone because you end up making more of a mess. Especially now that it's kind of started to dry. It'd be different if I first did it. I just blend that in. to the end of my brush and then come in. Wiggle, wiggle. There we go. And the side. Now you guys can carry on. I tend to not carry my glitters to the sides. That's why I always try to get the sides done perfect. Well, so just be perfect. I need to move this up in just a sec, guys. There we go. And finish it up with the nice lines. Here we go. I am going to leave this. I'm going to put my fan on it. Done. I don't want to touch it anymore because I don't want to goof it up. So I'm going to leave it down here. I'm going to put my fan on it. Like, look at that. That's gorgeous, those colors. So anyways, I'll see you guys when this is dry and we're going to come back because you do emphasize this. You do not want this to be even tacky before you start the next person the next spot because if it's even a slightly tacky your glitter is going to stick everywhere so just do not skip the step of it being completely dry guys i'll see you in a few minutes all right my guys we are back this is dry oh my goodness it is so gorgeous look at that that is gorgeous. I am so happy the way it turned out. Now, I am using, as always, my TriArt liquid glass. I have it in a little squeeze bottle. You may also use, um, you could probably use a thicker, like Elmer's glue, as long as it dries clear. I always used to use resin. I like this because it doesn't spread like the resin does. You could also use Mod Podge. I would use the extra thick and it makes sure it dries clear. I never had the um, success with Mod Podge. So it's whatever everybody wants to use, but this is what I choose to use. So we're gonna put a little layer down. I'm using my Ashlyn Decorative Gold Glass Decorative Filler. And we're gonna use an array of my Laura's art glitters of course so I'm going to come down and do a line and follow this make sure it's working oh always always something plugged oh my goodness Sherry get something out of here just a little pin. There we go. Now that should work. I always try to wipe the end off, but sometimes it doesn't work that way. All right, so here we go. We're just gonna do a thicker line. And you know what? This one I'm gonna carry it over because I've missed a little bit here. So we'll put some glitter stuff there. All right, so I'm gonna do one and then we'll do the other. Okay, so I'm just gonna hold this because it's unlevel. We're just gonna do jig jigs. But remember, when you do this, 
try to go straight. Try not to veer, like go make your icicle things wonky. And then if you do, you can come back in and just try to, I'm just gonna right now thicken this line. You wanna make sure if you have any little, I'm gonna, it'll be in, still in, I'm just gonna put a little bit on the sides. Like I said, normally I don't, but I'm just gonna put the glitter on the side. All right, now, just depending on how long you want it to be in, in with, within your um, bottom and top pieces, I always like to do some long ones, some short ones, Where it's kind of empty up this way I'm gonna bring up some longer ones if I can and then just kind of whatever you think looks good that looks good I might bring just a little one down here a little bit more And now I'm going to work on the other side. And again, we're going to do. And where I did this little paint mishap, I will make sure that I strategically place one of my little wispies down there. I'm going to tilt it up this way just to get my edge. Oh my goodness, Sherry. There we go. And Look at that, it's naturally falling over. There we go. Perfect. So now I'm going to thicken this out to kind of match. And then start bringing down some of these guys. I apologize in my last video I had some people confused because I said this was day two of my autumn week and when I actually started the video but then the way things happened it ended up being the first video so I did mention it in the end but I apologize if I threw some people off that was not my intention I guess I misjudged that quite a bit. Normally I try to keep it the same on the other ends, but that's all right. Now that one went a little wonky, so we can thicken that one out. I'm very excited because my next video is going to be my 400th video which is like OMG. So I have a special video. So there may not be a video Wednesday, but there the next video will be my 400th video. So I have something planned for that. So if I'm missing a, a day, guys, don't be worried. I will have something. All right, I think that's good. I always lay my glass down first so that I know it's gonna be stuck. And I'm gonna go a little heavy where my line is. So we're making sure that we're covering up all of that different color.
go. It's starting to get cold. My husband's ready to come home from the trailer. He's like, it's too cold. I'm going to try to strip, just put it on and then I'm going to try and fix it up. Lay it out where those mirror parts are because these ones are a little bit chunkier. I want to lay it. Flat. So you do see the mirror part which I think is nice. And then try to cover up that line. There, I'm gonna bring it in together. Cause this gold I find is quite transparent. Let me find a couple pieces that have mirror on it and I'm gonna strategically place them where I think, cause I wanna cover that line for sure. Back here, it fell. There we go. All right, so now I'm going to put some. I like putting them down amongst the. The little drips. I think it gives it a little bit of character. And if you don't like the big chunky you could even break it up a little more now this I don't like it is I don't know, just a long skinny piece so it's gone We're just going to come in, do a little more in here. There. All right, perfect. Now we'll come in with some glitter. I'm going to do the... <laughs> that stuck to me. Do the chunky. So I will come in with my... This one is from, uh, these are all from Laura's Art Corner. This one is, again, the Autumn Days, which we used in the other one. Look at that. It wants to be out already. I'm just going to do. Oh, my fingers don't want to work today. Or any day, as far as that goes. I'm going to come in here. Kind of heavy through the center. Because, like I said, I want to cover up any of that oh, oh there we go and then bring a little bit down I don't know Laura I might need to get some more of this autumn today because it's almost I'm using it up here we go and you can strategically place like you could put the gold glitters on this half and then the multicolored stuffs if you want on the other half. I like doing it the same glitter all over. It brings in that cohesiveness and I'm gonna try and put some of this on the sides if I can get my finger in there. Hopefully it's coming off my fingers. All right, maybe just a little bit here, more there. Try and find. So when you see any of this liquid glass, you want to cover it because when it is said and done, you will see a shiny line there. So now I have, let's do this one. This one is Prism Gold Glitter from Laura's Art Corner as well. So we're going to put some of that in here and then we will shake my holographic glitter in here. 
I love these containers, but they're hard to get my fingers in here. Oh, there we go. It's not quite what I wanted to do, but... And again, as I always say, this glitter will not get wasted. I will turn my puppy pads upside down and I will shake them off so that we don't lose any of this. Because you know, can't waste any glitter. Let me see if I can put a little on that side. I'm going to flip it too much, but I won't. Oh, there we go. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Let me see if I can pick it up from here. I'll put it on the side. There. Perfect. And then I'm going to come back in with my gold dust fine glitter from Laura's Art Corner. And hopefully I can... Oh, there's not a whole lot in here, so I want to make sure I have enough. So I'm going to try and do this quickly and sparing. Well, not sparingly, but I want to evenly because I want to make sure I get enough. I don't want to get through half and then not have the other half. And this is the type of glitter that you use to finish it off with. And it will pick up all of that plain liquid glass. Oh, my goodness. Let's go. Come on, come on, come on. Help me out, my friend. Help me out. Let the glitter gods be with me. We can add this to the list, Laura. <laughs> And just because I don't want any blank spots, I'm going to come back in. And this one is also from Laura's Corner, Art Corner. It is called Laura, <laughs> I was going to say Laura's, Luscious Laura's Gold. It's called Luscious Gold. Now I am, oh, so tempted. It's right here. It's going in a container so I can spread it out evenly. There, I buy these from Michaels and I'm gonna put this in here so I can put it on there a little better. There we go. So that is my luscious gold and let's get at it, my friends. I can still see where my liquid glass is. So I want to, like I said, this is going to look like, I think this is the most glitter I've ever put on one of these. Oh my goodness, guys. I'm just always afraid of just not leaving it. There we go. So I'm going to let this dry. Maybe I'll just do a little down the center. So it's all cohesive. Okay, there we go, guys. So we've used the Luscious there. I had all these other ones pulled out, but I, we never used them. So I'm going to Prism Gold Glitter. We did use that one. All right. So I will see you guys when this is dry so we can do the shake, shake, shake. I'll see you in a bit, guys. Hello, we are back. These are dry. Let's shake these off. I, they're in the wrong spots, but I put a puppy pad underneath so I could collect all of this amazing glitter and glass. So here we go, guys. And I expect there to be a lot of glitter. And here we go. Oh my goodness, this looks so pretty. Look at 
that, guys. That looks amazing. Just getting these loose little ones here. I'm gonna go sideways. Just get all the loose stuff. I don't cover these. You can choose to put a coat of resin, put a coat of Mod Podge on top. It's up to you, but I don't. There we go. Second one. Take one minute and bring this all in. There we go. Nice little package. And I will deal with that in a little bit. So look at that, guys. Oh my goodness. This turned out amazing. Now, if that's not fall colors, I don't know what is. So I'm going to put it on my rack behind me. We're going to do a close-up, and I'll be right back, guys. There you go, my friends. Oh, my goodness. That is gorgeous. I'm not sure if it's showing up on there or not, but look at that shimmer just in the paint. And then, I don't know. That's a lot of glass, but you know what? It is still gorgeous. I love the glitters that I chose. So there you go. I hope you enjoyed day two of Autumn Week. And like I said in the um, opening video, we are going to have a break of Autumn Week for one video, just because it's my 400th video. And I have a little bit of something planned for, for that. So with that, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you like it, please, give it a thumbs up. And if you have not yet subscribed, please, please think about subscribing. I was looking the other day and over 58% of the people that watch me aren't subscribed. So it would be awesome if you could subscribe, help me get to my next level in my YouTube journey. And with that, in the description box, I have the links to everything I used here today. I also have the links to all my distributors and here we go, my long-winded exit. I have the links to um, Fundy Molds with a discount code. I have the links to where to purchase um, Julie Cuts Molds. I have the links to where to purchase Ship Molds and Shapes Molds. I have the links to where to purchase Tri Art Liquid Glass, which we used here today. I have the links to Let's Resin <clears throat> with my discount code of Sherry M10 and a link for their store. I also have the links and a discount code for Crystal Resin. My discount code for Crystal Resin is Sherry Molten 5, capital S. I also have the links to the two amazing Lorez distributors. I have Michelle from Artworks Resin Canada. My discount code for Michelle is Sherry Molten 10, capital S, capital M. And my amazing Laura from Laura's Art Corner my glitter guru, my American Lorez distributor, um, glitters from today, my discount code for Laura's all capital letters, Sherry Moulton 10. And with that, my PayPal link is in there if you choose to donate and help support my channel. And I'm an Amazon affiliate, so my links are there as well. So with that, I hope you have an amazing day and I'm excited for you to see my next video. Love you guys. Have a wonderful day.